Today I want to address your questions on my last video, which I gave a short overview of the online experience at Grand Canyon University. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll link it down in the description. This video will be more directed towards those looking to enroll in GCU's digital film production program, which is offered fully online. I started this program in the fall of 2019 and I did transfer in with the majority of my general education credits from my local community college. Those of you who don't know, general education courses are not specific to your major. It's almost like um, a continuation of high school. There are classes like English, history, math, psychology, and so on. I'm currently 10 months in to GCU's digital film program, uh, and I'm now just beginning what I like to call career courses. Uh, these are classes like acting for the camera, screenwriting, visual storytelling, among others. Even though I had most of my credits transferred in, I still needed to take two required um, introductory classes for new students before taking my major specific courses. The two introductory classes I had to take as a new student at GCU are, were called University Success and Christian Worldview. Those classes are now behind me and I'm just now starting my first major specific course, which I'm very excited about. It's called Introduction to Cinema, History and Aesthetics. So I'll give you some background on my classes because some of the questions on my last video involve specific concerns about the program that only someone further along in this program can answer. I cannot address them from experience, I can only speculate based on the information I researched. Also my program schedule gives me a great uh, idea and a summary of the classes that are ahead along with their description. The list of classes for GCU's film program if you're interested is also available on their website. I'll go ahead and put that list on the screen for a second if you want to pause the video and take a look at it. And I'll also leave a link down to it in the description. Another question I received was asking if this is a theory-based program or does it involve some hands-on work? Now reading the list of classes and their descriptions, it sounded to me that that will be a mix of both. However, for example, one class describes that students will be spending time in front of the camera as well as composing shots to convey a story. It also says that students will participate on both sides of the camera. When I get further ahead in the program, I'll make another video to follow up on this one with more details about Grand Canyon University's digital production program. But today, what I can talk about from experience is that the current class that I'm in now, which is Introduction to Cinema, um, is pretty straightforward. I'm getting a lot of value out of it. The general idea of this class is to watch movies and analyze, discuss the art that goes into it. Things like storytelling, directing, cinematography, sound, and editing. In this class, you're given a hundred movies uh, you can pick from each week. Then you would uh, watch those movies and then elaborate based on that week's topic. So again, you get an individual choice of your assignment on the movie you want. For example, one week, we may be talking about directing. So I'll pick a film to watch and talk about. For example, Star Wars. I watched the movie, paying attention to some of the choices the director made. Then I'll go ahead and elaborate on the movie from the directing perspective. And then the following week, we may be talking about, let's say, cinematography. So again, I'll pick another film and we'll discuss the cinematography of that movie with the class. My next class will be Digital Film Production 1. I'll be starting that class in just four weeks. And again, if you want to see the list of the classes in the program, which I am taking, I will link it down below. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Um, I'll respond to every single one of them like I did on my last video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It does really help me to know 
you're out there watching and it motivates me to keep making more videos to help those interested in this topic. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Try to catch me howling at the moon.